Hey guys, finally it's happening now. Nigeria don't scatter with this. Ramadan turns bloody. Bandits invade mugs during prayer. Nigerian politicians run no, everywhere scatter as a key word popular politicians. What they did to the wife and the daughter will shock you. These are the things we are talking about. When the issue of insecurity started, the Nigerians, they cry, these people, they invade our farm, oh, then they do this. So politicians were like, after all, they are not going to come to their farm to meet them. Or they're not going to see them for a road, we lead them. You see, as it is right now, nobody is safe in this country. Nigeria, our safe is not safe. Nigerians are not safe as well. That is the situation we have found ourselves. And this is really very bad. You understand? There is nobody in this country that is safe. As far as these people are concerned, if these people can boldly go to the school and adopt school children, primary school and secondary school children, you will now understand what they can do, the length they can go. You understand? For you to understand, say these people, they not get conscience. Their mind did their back. These kind of people, they don't supposed to, to be here. You understand? But here we are. The government, they they, 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 pay them, they, pay. they, they tell us stories, say those children now, they don't come out. How they come out, they say Nigerian army, help. And no ransom was paid. Just like that. So these people have repented. Have repented. Then repented, I meant to say. Nigerians just they ask questions left, right, and center. Like as I said, Nigeria is at war with itself. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, in a shocking turn of events, tragedy, tragedy struck Maruwa village in Castina State as bandits unleashed terror during Ramadan prayers. The victim, identified only as Alaji Lado, fell prey to the ruthless attackers with his refusal to comply, sealing his fate. As the community reaps from this heinous act, the adopters snatched Alaji uh, Lado's wife and two daughters, flooding the village into despair and uncertainties as majority of politicians ran for safety. Details surrounding the incident remain uh, sketchy. Sure, in the darkness of the night, when the assassin struck the peaceful assembly uh, of the mosque, shattered by the sound of gun, gunfire, leaving worshippers in, in disbelief and horror. High witnesses re, re, recount the harrowing or day, highlighting the, the brazenness of the attackers. Who spared no one, who spared no one, not even a health worker known as Sunny, employed at the Mariwa Health Facility. The heart ranking tragedy underscores the pervasive threat of banditry in Castina State, a region besieged by rampart insecurity despite numerous efforts to curb the menace. Authorities have yet to stem the tide of violence that plodges the area. The echoes of gunshots reverberate the true, true the community, uh, serving as a grim reminder of the ever-present danger uh, looking in the shadows. As news of the attack spread, shock waves ripple across the nation, drawing attention to the urgent need for comprehensive security reforms, the loss of Alaji uh, Lado sent shockwaves through the political landscape, highlighting the vulnerability of public figures to the switch of violence. His untimely death serves as a, a sober reminder of the precariousness of life in religions plunged by insecurity. In the wake of the tragedy, calls for justice ring out as the community mourns, the senseless loss of life, the verdicts are held, prayers offered, 
and pleas for intervention echo far and wide. Yet, amidst the grief and anguish, a glimmer of hope flickers as unity emerges in the face of adversity. Communities rally together, offering support and solidarity to those affected by the tragedy. However, the road to healing remains uh, fraught with challenges to the fate of Alaji Lado's family hangs in the balance. Each passing moment brings with it a renewed sense of urgency as efforts to secure their safe return intensify. The reliance of the human spirit shines through as the community refuses to scuffle to fear, standing uh, steadfast in their resolve to overcome this dark chapter. In the midst of tragedy, stories of heroism and resilience emerge, serving as beacons of light in the darkness from art of bravery to display of compassion, the human spirit pervasive in the face of adversity as the nation mourns the loss of one of its, of one of its own. The legacy of Alaji Lado lives on, inspiring hope and unity in the hearts of many. In conclusion, the tragedy that unfolded in Maruwa village serves as a stark reminder of the harsh realities faced by many communities across the nation as we grapple with the aftermath of this senseless act of violence. Let us stand together in solidarity, offering support to those in need together. We can overcome the challenges that lie ahead, ensuring that such tragedies never darken our doorsteps again. Join, okay, please guys, you've all heard it now. And what's your take on this? This is really very sad. Like, as I said, nobody is safe in Nigeria with this situation. We have found ourselves. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.